Hi, I am Dr. Kumaresh. I am basically an ENT specialist. This is a very, very interesting topic. You know, why I'm saying interesting? Before I could talk about earwax, I'll tell you about an incident. I had a patient who came to me with a very severe ear pain. When I saw the ear, he has punctured the eardrum and there is a lot of blood in the canal. I asked him why. He said, I used an earbud. I said, why? He said, no, 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 because if I go to a doctor, they will charge me for removing the earwax. I said, fine. Now you are going to lose your hearing. What are you going to do about it? You know, this is what we call in the thing in the olden days as penny wise and pound foolish. We all, you know, think, oh, we are saving some money without realizing the bad consequences of our actions. The same thing holds good about, you know, going to a pharmacist, taking an antibiotic where it was not even needed or it's going to cause problems. I had so many patients going and getting some wrong thing, coming to me with problems. You know, at the end of the day, you are, you are the sufferers. Please understand that. So having said that, let me talk about earwax. Earwax is something which should be there in all human beings. Each and everything in the human body has got a function. Same thing with the earwax, it is there to protect your eardrum. If you notice, a fly can go in, insects can go in, dirt can go in, but they don't affect the eardrum. It gets entrapped by this earwax. You know, it's like having a Z plus security. So, you know, it definitely helps. So what you have to do is once in every one year, just meet with an ENT specialist and get it clean. Don't try to use earbuds. You know, I will show in all these pictures you see, you can see one of my patient is lost his shape of the ear. You can see the other patient where there's been a huge hole. I still remember an employee of the national park coming to me with water oozing out and it was, you know, brain fluid. He has used a bud when he was using, someone came and, you know, dashed against him. The bud went straight into his inner ear and he was having brain fluid where he had complete deafness. I had to admit him to treat him and you know now he's lost his hearing on one side. So all these complications are there. Try to avoid earbuds. Earbuds are not meant for your ears. Sometimes I do get patients coming, oh this was by this company, that company. Please understand. You know all these companies, you know whether they're original or what, most of the people who are selling it on the roadside, you know these are cottons which are taken from the patient's materials which has been thrown out. From there they recycle, they take it. So you're just going to cause more damage than good. So stop doing all of this. Just meet with the ear specialist and get your ears clean. And you know, if it's not too much, then once in every six months, you can even use some, you know, the ear wax solvents. But better that you go to a medical professional and he takes a call whether that is enough or whether he needs to remove it. But don't do home remedies. As they, you know, in certain stunts they put, don't try this at all. The same thing, don't try this at all.